And I'd said my position that uh, my position is that we impeach both the president and the deputy president. Mm. And having made this position known, there are people who are uncomfortable with that position. So by the time I got to Bomas at the entrance, I was blocked by the police from going in. But members of the public, uh, you know, gathered around and there was a huge crowd and I was allowed finally to go in. When I went in, the GCU prevented the members of the crowd and I went to Bomas to the door. Mm. I was prevented from entering the door. I took, I went to another door, I was still prevented to go through the other door. I went to the third door, I was still prevented. So when I came back to the first door and I found a high ranking officer and I told her, I'd like to go in. I think she's called Kimani or someone. So she told me I can only go in with one, pa one other person. Mm. So I think that's where my security was compromised. Uh, I don't know whether it was intention on the part of the police to compromise it, but I was only allowed to go in with one person. Uh, and other people joined me behind. I sat down. Then I listened to other people give their views. And when it got to, up, when I want to make my view, I raise my hand. When I raise my hand, the public pointed at me, the whole of Bomas, but here I'm at a microphone. But uh, TJ Kajwang refused. Mm. He instead uh, pointed at me and said, uyu kijana uyu hata haribu mkutano. So I stood up and said, no, 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 sijakuja kuharibu mkutano, nipe microphone toe maoni. And... Uh, Suddenly, some people, all right, um, goons to be particular, came from behind the dais, um, and they've been identified. Most of them are uh, goons that belong to, that work for uh, the Honorable T.J. Kajwang. Others work for Honorable Beatrice Alachi, and some of them work for George Aladwa. So they came, and when they came, they, they didn't come to maybe it, there was no situation they were coming to calm down it was not chaos and and they are coming to intervene they came to cause the chaos they came you know started moving tables picked chairs and started throwing at me i kept calm and sat down even when chairs were being thrown but when it got serious i tried to ex escape but the exit towards which i was escaping i found the door closed so i was cornered my bodyguard was injured, he could not defend me anymore. So then I, I, I was hit by more than 30 metallic chairs. Some members of the public tried to help me by, you know, putting chairs on me so that every other chair that comes just lands on the other chairs. By the grace of God, some people who were on top held my hand and pulled me up from where I was trapped. And an officer who was brave enough to come in picked me up and uh, they took me outside and uh, outside i was you know evacuated from the place i went to nairobi hospital for treatment um but i left the hospital i went to another hospital when it became public that i was actually at that hospital because at this time i didn't know what i'm dealing with and i didn't know how deep the security situation or risk is so i've been treated i'm 